Welcome back everyone to my IDC 40 run. This is the group stage match number 3 in the top cut where I'm up against X-Boom at the top of your screen he's playing his light dark nature control and I'm at the bottom of your screen playing light water dark hydro hurricane with giga salt gonna win the die roll here and I don't think I wanna be summoning anything yet on turn 3 I'm not sure if he's on Cranium Clamp or not, but I needed that Giga Slug for the Giga Balsa anyway. So I will discard a Mysterious with the Giga Balsa, which I'm really happy to see, but he's gonna have a, another Mysterious, a third one, which I can get rid of with the Miraculous Snare. And yeah. Three Mysterious already gone. However, I don't see any of my Mysterious, or which is unfortunate. At least I do have an Ice Vapor here, but doesn't do too much against X Boomstick, which is mainly creatures. Uh, I guess it can still be slightly annoying, I suppose. And yeah, I charge the play because I wanna be on 6 mana for if I'm gonna top deck Mysterious to also foil it, follow it up with a Laura Giga Summon. And in the meantime, he gets his Charmilia and and atop the cranium clamp while I have two creatures in hand. Now Charmelia is gonna be able to find him even more threats. He could most likely go for Photoside, in my opinion, but he just opts to go for another Charmelia, and here I kind of have to use the Hydro Hurricane on Charmelia to stop him from finding more threats. Now he could even summon both of them at the same time, but at the very least I prevented one from finding a threat this turn. I do have a Miraculous Nerf for one of them, but now he can just keep searching. Threat after threat. Uh, it seems like his Ice Vapor might be in the shield zone. <laughs> and now I'm getting another snare for the other Charmelia. And he gets another one off the top. And yeah, these Charmelias are just gonna find him the best cards. And he does get a photo side, which so I'm happy to have this Higabalza to get rid of it because that is quite a menace against Hydro Hurricane. And at this point he has generated so much advantage and but at the very least he is behind in the deck out race so I could play around that although he can keep amassing creatures a lot quicker than me so I will summon two blockers but now he can just boost Beast Folk with Petrova and start going in doesn't even have to go in yet because he's at 16 cards. 
And yeah, Charmelia just proving here why it's so good. I will discard the Falivia he grabbed, but it doesn't matter when you have so many creatures. And he's run out of, even run out of creatures to find, so he's just getting blockers at this point. I am gonna get a Gigazalt at last, which I'm gonna be able to use to discard Palolysis, and I will destroy the Charmelia. But now he's got so many four powered up beast folks which can go through the blockers. Although I haven't seen any terror pits yet, so there is a chance they could be in shields. So now it's just gonna swap the Palo Lysis in. So this way he can also go in with the Petrova. But he's just gonna hope to kill my Chimeras. Now it's just gonna go in with all the boosted beast folks and probably Petrova as well. Although he's a bit weary of that because Solgala could potentially kill it and then he could potentially lose more creatures. At this point I could play Miraculous Plague and also summon Laura Giga which is gonna allow me to kill the Petrova and also trade with the beast folks as well. That's probably my main bet here. Summon Laura Giga, play Plague on the two Ice Vapors, kill the Petrova with Solgala, and trade with the Sky Swords and Bronzen Tribes. And then I'm going to be left with one blocker, one shield against two attackers. But I will lose a lot of cards in the process because of the two ice vapors. Maybe swapping in Laura Giga instead of Solgala would have been better. So you don't have to lose the Petrova to the Solgala. And I seem to play Bellix instead. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Okay, I see what I'm doing. For some reason... So he has six attackers. So I'm just banking on having a shield trigger. Could have actually s prevented a knockout with the double miraculous, the miraculous plague, and 
Laura Gia instead, so I'm not sure why I didn't. But even then, he would have been in a better position, so I don't think I would have won that game anyway, even if I survived the next turn. Because those two Ice Apers would have set me back quite a lot. Looks like I'm gonna be having all the mystery as this time, but if he has a mystery as before me, that doesn't matter because he's gonna get to draw. And uh, yeah, he's gonna get to draw before me because of Bronzan Tribe. And this time I didn't get uh, Gigasalt or a Miraculous Nerf for the Rhea, so. Yeah, all he has to do is draw more cards than me or answer my mysterious with a soul swap, which is even better because he's gonna get to draw more cards. And yeah, at this point I have to use a terror pit on it. But he most likely has more than one. He has one which is gonna get out with a soul swap so he can do a follow up play to draw another card. And yeah, my mystery has only help him to draw more cards. It's gonna even play Faligia to grab the soul swap back. Swap, swap on my mystery ass, so it's gonna get a draw from his Faliga and also my swapped mystery ass. And at this point, I, I'm thinking I should probably just charge the Gizal, summon the mystery ass, play Palolysis, and make a wall because I'm be. Well, he's not behind in deck out race just yet. But he probably will be if he keeps throwing. Because just summoning Gigazalt for a card, like, yeah, I'll discard a card, but he's also gonna draw a card. And it's getting to the point where he might be holding Lost Soul or Cranium Clamp, so putting the Mysterious in the Palolysis on the battle zone now would be better in my opinion, but I still just go for Gigazalt. Which in hindsight, at least I wouldn't do. So yeah, it's just gonna play a photo side here and And now I really need an answer for the photo side I can just play Mysterious and Palolysis because the Palolysis will get eaten by the photo side one by one. And he even has the a discard so I definitely should have gone for the mystery as instead. And uh, I play Hydro Hurricane 
while forgetting that he has Ice Vapor in the battle zone, so I didn't charge the Palolysis, and yeah, he's not gonna allow me to take back because it's a tournament, and yeah, I have to own up to this mistake. I'm definitely bouncing the photo side, I think, okay. Not sure why I bounced uh, Mistrias, that's another misplay. Yeah, this game is kind of lost. I would say I lost this game uh, on the turn when I didn't summon Mistrias plus Palolysis. We're gonna have Charmilia and another Ice Vapor and now he can just deck me out as well, he doesn't even have to go in. But he will probably go in at some point just to save some time. Just gonna flood the board with with creatures at this point, and he's even gonna swap in my Mysteria so he can kill it with Photoside. Now he's just gonna start burning stuff with Fortress Shell, and for some reason I charge it. Not sure why. I think I just lost hope for this game. To be fair, I'm not sure why he doesn't just go in at this point, he has so many creatures. And yeah, I just concede because he could have gone in last turn. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna be out of top, top 4. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do better next time. Definitely gonna change at least one, one or two cards in the deck. And uh, yeah, my deck should be on the screen for those of you who are interested. And until next time, see ya.